Singapore is injecting $90 million into research to keep people healthy. As part of this goal, a project by Sing Health which focuses on seniors' mobility. Called Ease, it explores a concept called Life Space, which looks at a person's travel and activity patterns. For more, we're joined by Associate Professor Ng Yi Sien. He is the Principal Investigator of the project and Senior Consultant of Rehabilitation and Medicine at Sing Health. Prof, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, break it down for us in simple terms, right? What is the concept of, of life space all about and, and why should people care about it? Thanks so much. Life space is a key marker of active aging. It's a space where people move around a community to achieve their life goals. This includes goals, of, for example, of self-care, employment, social, recreational, even spiritual needs. It really matters, life space really matters because diminished life space are associated with adverse health outcomes, with the development of, for example, chronic diseases and depression, even future hospitalization, admission to nursing homes, and even a higher risk of early mortality as well. So, how, I mean, you, you gave us a bit of an insight into the correlation between the quality of life space and the quality of life. Mm -hmm. um, uh, do we see it particularly for seniors? Oh, definitely so, John. So a good quality life space is definitely associated with a better quality of life. This is because, for example, a good quality life space is also associated with good health, a strong social network, and an environment which is conducive for seniors to go out and participate actively in the community. However, when people get older or people get more frail, the quality of life space diminishes. For example, um, they might only go down to the apartment uh, floors below um, to the to the first grocery shop to do the basic um, grocery shopping and the needs, and they actually sacrifice going further away for their recreational and social needs as well. The COVID example and the COVID pandemic is case in point where people are more vulnerable, reduce their life space, and so they become more depressed as well. So we hope to pick up these people with diminished life space, poor quality of life space, who are at risk and apply the appropriate interventions to improve their quality of life. Yeah, you mentioned the appropriate interventions there. We've sort of defined what life space is. Um, mm -hmm. Could you give us a sense of what kind of interventions we could perhaps be looking at further down the road? Oh, definitely. So before the interventions, uh, we aim to do this project um, to find out where exactly are the barriers of facilitators' life space because there are actually a multitude of interventions in three domains, the health domain, um, the social domain, and the environmental domain as well. So we hope to actually prioritize which interventions are most important because resources are always finite. The second thing about interventions is we do want to target those interventions for people at risk because the people at risk probably can benefit more from interventions than, uh, for example, people who already have uh, the lowest life space at home and cannot even go out. It's most bang for the buck. So generally in terms of health interventions, this will include things like identify people who are frail, so that they can have physical activity, nutrition, pro nutrition programs, exercise programs, rehab programs, um, especially for those which are on the borderline of the fence, whether they're frail or whether they have borderline physical fitnesses. For social interventions, um, we'll be looking to strengthen social networks through either policy or providing opportunities for um, social interactions in the community. Environmental intervention is a big, uh, big one. We're actually working together collaboratively with our um, with SUTD and URA and urban planners to not, not only want to remove barriers in the environment, for example, um, improving the infrastructure of roads, uh, accessibility, but we also want to provide facilitators, for example, places people can identify with like heritage sites and smart green places, which I think is a step in the correct direction, draw people out to improve their life space. But before we get too far, let's find out about this um, people's life space for a comprehensive geriatric screen travel diaries and, and, and um, a, a travel diary in Singapore, and so that we can um, know in detail people's life space, intervene with a transparent team to improve their quality of life. Uh, we're going to get into you know, how your team is going to get the data uh, for the study uh, in a mm -hmm. little bit, but you mentioned how uh, environmental domain is a big one. Um, how right. would it look like in terms of infrastructural changes You know that people can look forward to. I mean, we are already seeing that to a certain extent, right? We're seeing ramps, uh, barrier-free access. Uh, what else do you think um, is on the horizon when it comes to the environmental domain? Mm -hmm. It's an interesting question, right? So in, in our team, um, apart from a, a 
so-called quantitative study. It's a qualitative study in which a, a team of, of us from uh, Duke NUS and from Singhealth is going to walk along with the seniors, uh, where they go to and how they travel. Um, and I would think that interventions are not just you know, barriers, but what, what makes people connect the environment? For example, it could be um, a heritage tree, um, a place where people um, used to go uh, to socialize, uh, an old town, even seats. Um, so we are, we are looking at um, environment interventions um, that um, brings out the meaning into travel to nice places um, in, in Singapore. And um, we're looking a lot more at that. Um, and I think things like you know, park connectors, as well as um, green spaces, you are smart, means you are digitally connected, might be a step in the correct direction. Prof, thanks very much for those insights. Uh, fascinating. We've never heard of life space before, but uh, we'll certainly much to look sure. forward to. Uh, we've been speaking there with Associate Professor Eng Yixian, Principal Investigator of the Singhealth Ease Project and Senior Consultant of Rehabilitative Medicine.